Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I wanted to share with you what the Lord was telling me to tell the masses. And this is a dust say of the Lord. You must anoint yourselves daily. We are in a high spiritual warfare time and it's going to just increase. A lot of people don't know how important it is to anoint yourselves. For me, when I first started anointing myself, God said, Deanna, you have to protect your gates. What are the gates? Your eye gates, your mouth gate, your ear gate, um, anything that has an opening, your private part gate, your anal gate, your navel gate. So you have to seal yourself. Now, how do you seal yourself, Apostle? You pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Always plead the blood. I draw a bloodline over my mind, my soul, and my body in Jesus' name. Anoint yourselves in the name of Jesus as well. I anoint myself every day. I have to. The higher you go, the more. You know how they say different levels, different devils? It really is true, by the way. I anoint the top of my head. I pour just a drop. Now, I anoint my ears. But what I do is I take it on my finger because you you want to you want to use wisdom. You don't want ears to just go you know all to go all in your ears. So I take a little bit and I anoint the lobes. I sometimes I anoint my throat if I have to speak. And I do this because it's protection. Now for me, a lot of people think that this. A lot of people are gonna think maybe this is to the extreme, but you have to protect yourself. Everything is a spirit. The Bible says that he's the prince of the air. Do you understand that? Airwaves, TV, radios, phones. Come on, somebody. Holly, you don't know what another person is really saying. Or if you have met them online or whatever, you don't know what's going on. So you have to protect yourself. When I have a phone, I don't ever put it to my right ear. That's just me. The right side, the Bible says, is ordained to God. I really, I don't. I, I, I just, that's just my preference. I always use the left ear. Um, I anoint. Put a little oil under each foot. Now this is every day. Every day. Every morning and every night. Take a shower in the morning. Take a shower at night. Sometimes in the evening if you have to take a shower. Always anoint yourself. This is not a game people. It really isn't. Because we are in high level spiritual warfare right now. And a lot of people don't really know that the anointing. It stops a lot of stuff. Of course you have to pray and fast with that thing too. You have to read your Bible every day. Every day, the Bible, Joshua 1, it says, meditate day and night, and then you would have success, and then you will make your way. Come on, it tells you right there. Now, I also want to talk about a different part of anointing as well, and God showed me this one. So, I pray that you really catch this. I ask God some deep things because I'm nosy and I want to know, and not only that, he lets me, you know, he, he, he shows me. So, one of the things I ask God, I say, God, why, you know how everybody... When you were a little kid, you played with your navel. You notice it feels funny. Let me tell you why it feels funny. I asked God. He says, Deanna, when you, you see, when we was all with God, right? Because God said in Jeremiah 1, 1, before I knew you, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. What God was saying is that we we're all spirits. So we were spirits sent down, right? So what happens when a baby is born, you were born, you were born from a spirit to the flesh, and that's why you have the umbilical cord. And the doctor does what? It cuts the cord. So God said when the doctor cuts the cord, what he's doing is he's severing from you totally being a spirit now. And now you're half and half, half spirit, half flesh. So the closer you get to God, you're, you're actually coming back to the full spirit of manifestation. I know this is deep. Just stay right there. I'm, I'm going to get to you. And so what happens is, the core of your spirit is in your navel. And that's why as Christians, you don't let anybody just touch you there. Oh, come on, somebody. There are some people that have prayed over my stomach, my navel area, if I have, if God tells me to. But if they, uh-uh, nobody touches that because that goes straight to your spirit. And let me tell you what God told me. He said, Deanna, I want you to put some oil in the middle of your hand. I took my right hand, put some oil in the middle. And I placed it over my navel. And I said this prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, burn everything that is not of you. Let this be a two-edged fire. 
everything that is of you, increase it. Increase it for I want to live for you, God. Hallelujah to his name. When God showed me that, I actually told my students as well. And I'm telling you, that's how I know things are getting ready to happen. Because God said, I, I, need for you, I need you to release this. Now, whether you do it and you believe it, that's a whole different thing. But it does work. I actually do it almost every day now. Why? Because remember, we're a spirit, but we're in flesh. We're not of the world, but we're in the world. So you have to understand how this goes. You understand what I'm saying? So it's very important that you anoint yourself, um, olive oil, or you can use oil that have been prayed over by someone that you know is living holy. Because this thing could backlash you. As it is in natural, so it is in the supernatural. Which is in warlocks, use oil too. Look it up. You understand what I'm saying? So don't just take somebody oil just because, oh, I, you know, here's some anointing oil. You better know of that person living that life. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And if you, so say, choose to just get a, a plain olive, bottle of olive oil virgin or whatever, you just hold it up. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you take the natural use from its natural use. And I pray that you form it to anoint it, Father God, with the power of God, the fire of God, in the name of Jesus. You anoint your family. You anoint your possessions. You anoint your house. You anoint your dog, your cats. You don't hear me. Spirits, the touch. I don't know if you ever saw this movie called Fallen. And I suggest you look at it. And a lot of people say, well, oh, if you look at stuff, you get spirits are everywhere. That's why it's called spiritual warfare. Come on, somebody. But in the movie, it was by touch, and it is. That's why I don't like everybody's touching me. Now, I find all that people have spirits and that's why it's very important that you anoint yourself it's a very important that you pray over yourself pray over your car pray over your possessions pray over your family this is not a game jesus showed us jesus showed us and i want to read you a couple of scriptures if you don't mind and then i'll be gone um let's see so the first scripture is exodus 29 7 you should take the anointing oil and pull it on his head and anoint him another scripture Luke 4 18 the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor another one now this is anointing the sick as well every time I pray for somebody I always it's another thing even when you're praying in church I always I'm gonna be honest with you my hands are always anointed because I don't know who I'm gonna touch I don't know what you've been doing I don't know. come on somebody hallelujah you got to protect yourself you got to guard and gird the gift and the anointing that God has placed over your life come on somebody hallelujah so this is anointing the sick James 5 14 is anyone among you sick let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with all in the name of the Lord that's what's happening with a lot of people you're not having healing and deliverance services and you're not anointing people you're just praying over people what's to be honest with you you're just passing spirits oh come on somebody hallelujah to his name the oil stops a lot. It really does. Another one, Psalm 45, 7. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. And I think I have one more here. And this one, 1 Chronicles 16, 21, 22. He allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, Touch not my anointed ones, and do my prophet no harms. Also, this last one, God anoints us. Second Corinthians 21, 22. Now it is God who make both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. So those are the scriptures. I pray you take this serious. This is not a game, you know. Um, some of you, you're still processing. So... Some of the stuff I, I say and I put out, I know it's like, whew, don't worry, we keep living. Keep living and keep praying and keep standing. It, it will catch up with you. I promise you that. So I pray that you have a blessed night tonight. And that's another thing. Thank you, Lord. Spirits, when you anoint your house, you go through all of your house. You anoint your house. You anoint windows, everything. If you feel that you have an entity or a spirit in your house and you can tell, you can tell when the spirit then come in through your children, husband, wife, dog, cat. It can happen. I'm very serious. It's not a game. You open your door 
and I feel not your house, and you, you decree and declare that thing, you got to get up out of here in the name of Jesus. I'm not playing with you. You, I don't know why they didn't show that in the war room. I, we ain't going to start on it. I ain't going on there. I'm just saying, if we're going to war, let's be real about it. <laughs> and, and Oh, I am going to go there. That must have been the white girl version. Because the black girl version, I'm, I, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to say because I know some white powerful women are God, okay? But we'll say the white timid girl version, okay? So don't get offended. Because when you at war, you're not going to say, I'm going to get you up. No, devil get up out of this house in the name of Jesus and take everything that you attach with with you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. You, This is spiritual warfare. Now, I liked the old lady. Now, I liked it her. But I'm just saying, if you're in war for real, this ain't no game. This is this is no game because you wonder why your children acting crazy. You wonder why your husband. Hello. Somebody has to stay rooted and grounded and always on their face, always praying, always always yeah people will call you crazy that's all right they won't call you possessed <laughs> hallelujah come on somebody so this is apostle deanna dixon you have a blessed night god bless